Hey, what's going on YouTube? Thank you for kicking it with your boy, and I'm back with another video. It's been a few weeks since I dropped the video. Uh, I've been, you know, dealing with my little issues type stuff. Been doing a bunch of schoolwork. Schoolwork been having me tired, my stocks and stuff like that. Uh, and then, honestly, I haven't honestly been buying too many kicks, but I got a special pair of kicks for us today. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. So today we got the Kobe Pro Cho 4 Girl Dads, which was, I guess, like a um, special for Father's Day. And um, the Girl Dads, and so I think they pushed it back from like May until like uh, last week, whenever they released or whatever. But yeah, so kind of like a special, and like a shout out to Father's, for a Father's Day gift um, for Fathers of Girl Dads, but, um, or whoever copped it, but yeah. So... We're going to get right into this video, man. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe to the video. Join the team. Join the family. Join the Navy, man. Let's get right into this video. As always, this might be the cleanest box. This might be the cleanest Nike box. Not even going to cap. Just the black. Just a black box with the logo. It just, it just looks clean, bro, as always. But first time, man, it's story time, man. Let's go ahead and get right into how I got these shoes. Um, I actually got these not from sneakers, not from Nike. I got these from a raffle. Actually, my first time hitting on like a raffle from like a different website. I actually got these from Sneaker Politics. Um, I, I didn't even remember me putting in the raffle. I was just putting in a bunch of raffles around the time. And... Uh, I ended up getting like an email game one of the NBA finals. I was watching the finals and I got like an email saying my card was charged um, And all this stuff. So I went up there. I mean, I got an email saying go ahead and confirm your purchase something like that And then I end up just going up there and I'm looking at I'm like is this who is this I'm like you feel me? Cause I never bought all sneaker politics before or any like whatever like I said I never had any raffles so Ended up going ahead purchasing my pair. They came in uh, yesterday, which was June the 11th. They came in June the 11th. And yeah, so shipping was a little bit more pricey than a regular shipping pair. From So like if I was to get it from Nike, it would have probably been on like, I want to say like two, two fit, 205 or something like that. These actually cost me almost 220 Um their taxes was 14 and then the shipping was 15 so a little bit more uh, like 15 more 15 more dollars um, more if I would have got them from Nike or sneakers but I mean you can't go wrong with these you feel me so I try to block out my name and all that sneaker politics you feel me and this is the receipt that it came with hit on a little raffle you feel me I don't really hit on raffles but I guess I never had luck in raffles so I guess I got a little luck so you feel me? Hopefully, I get some more sneakers from Raffles. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. As I was saying before, we have the all-black Nike box. The Nike Kobe box with the Kobe signature and the Kobe Mamba logo. I got these in a size 9. I'm just going to go ahead and start wearing my basketball sneakers. I'm going to start getting them in a size 9. My, um... My um, off the court sneakers, lifestyle sneakers, eight and a half, eight, eight and a half, maybe nine. You feel me? If I can get a nine, I can't get an eight and a half, I go for nine. Um, but yeah, so basketball sneakers, on court sneakers. Uh, I plan on wearing these, so I like a little bit more space on my sneakers. So, uh, and I know Kobe's kind of run small for some reason. A lot of his uh, signatures and silhouettes, they run small, like the fives. The, the eights comp the eights are it's kind of iffy um so yeah i'm gonna start just wearing nine especially in kobe's and i actually tried these on so and they fit pretty perfect in a size nine so if you if you go for these if you want these um resell or whatever i'll definitely go up probably like a half size on them if you like space i have wide feet so i like a little space with my sneakers Let's go ahead buy coastal black colorway, which is like a like a greenish like a sea sea like an undersea like what's the little the mildew looking stuff in the bottom of sea and all that seaweed whatever seaweed looking color black um, Kobe 4 Procho we know what Procho is the um, performance retros uh, famously made by Kobe 
the um the name for Pro Cho was famously made by Kobe for performance retros instead of just retro. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There they go, baby. There they go, baby. There they go. So I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and act like this is the best colorway in a long time from the Kobe's. Partic for me, it's not. But I don't I don't have a pair like this colorway. You feel me? Like I got the Grinches or whatever, but I usually don't have green sneakers. So it's different for me. Um... It's not a bad colorway, but I'm not going to sit here. Like like the um six, the camo sixes. I wasn't a fan of the colorway. I'm not a fan of like uh, the camo colorway or like brownish or like green. That's why I'm not really a fan of the Travis Scott's. But these these aren't that bad of a colorway. Um, and they're Kobe, so you feel me? I'm going to support them. But not going to lie, the chrome on the back really makes it look a lot better. And then the, the, just the um, suede on the bi-coastal green and then also on the black it, it, it it's a solid sneaker you feel me solid sneaker colorway and then you got like a translucent translucent um bottom so uh yeah my like i said colorway isn't that bad i'll give the colorway i get a colorway like a seven and a half you feel me but we're gonna get into detail on this sneaker real quick i'm gonna give you guys another 360 on these <laughs> Not even gonna lie, I definitely like the orange on the insoles though. Not gonna lie. Alright, so that kind of makes it a lot better with the orange on the insoles. I wish it was a little bit of orange, probably like on his signature right here, or like the logo, or even some orange shoe strings. That would have made it look a lot better, in my opinion, because that orange in there looks kind of sexy though. And we all know what this colorway actually is, so um if you don't know this was kobe kobe's um beanie that he wore the colorway of the beanie that he wore his him and Gigi's last appearance at a lakers game he wore the green eagles beanie and then he had an orange wnba hoodie on so that's the reasoning for this colorway and you know with kobe's in particular there's always a story behind most of his sneakers um, I know when he was doing the creative, he was doing more so like his his um his upbringings, his animal instincts, his love for nature, and um, all of that stuff. So they're trying to carry on, but now they're doing more like family family memories with this him and Gigi's. As you know, these are called the girl dad. So him and Gigi's last appearance in the Lakers. You got the Mamba Cita colorways. Um, the halos, the all white pair. So now they're doing more like family in remembrance of Kobe Bryant. So that's what they're kind of going at in the route. How I feel, that's the route I feel like they're going at the remembrance of Kobe instead of like now his upbringing and all of that. So, and then you got the OGs, as we all know, the what the Kobe eights. I do have the original pair. But yeah, what the Kobe 8s will be dropping next year. So you do have some OGs, the Grinches, and all of that have been dropping. All right, so as we look at this sneaker, you can see we have the bi-coastal green colorway looking greenish. And then you got a black Nike check around here. You do have the Kobe, as you can see right here. Got the famous Kobe signature engraved into this like metal plastic that's that chrome is hard i'm not even gonna lie i can see myself in it <laughs> i ain't gonna cap this would definitely stand out on the basketball court and then my light is super bright it been it been raining out here in south south florida for like a week and a half and it's gonna be raining all week into next week so it's like real dark outside kind of storming tornado warming so <laughs> it's kind of like a, a cool warm feel lighting in here so my lighting is kind of bad so don't get on me but yeah the translucent outsole at the bottom it's like icing and then you have that you have that traction at the bottom not sure if there's like letters or like the pattern or whatever um if they're spelling anything i don't i doubt it this is my first uh kobe fours 
this is my first pair of Kobe 4s. I haven't hit on any of the Pro Chos. I don't have any of the OGs. So I'm not really too familiar with like the performance on these. So I will be hooping in these. Obviously I can't. It'll be a couple. Maybe till next week or whatever. Because I like to hoop outside. I might go in the gym. I don't think so. But uh, yeah. So I probably won't hoop in these for like a week or so. But yeah. You got the chrome around there all the way around the heel of the toe and then you got the number 24 and as you can see on the back of the tongue it says girl dad on both pairs Make sure. yep on both pairs you have girl dad on the back which is pretty cool both of them says 24 I'm trying to see if there's any difference oh yeah the only difference so far that i see The only difference so far that I see is the signature is on this sneaker and not on this one. So you got the signature on this one and not on that one. Those are the only differences from the um, both sides of the sneaker. You can see on the sock liner, it's also a little suede feeling. All Kobe sneakers, most of them so far, have good ankle support. And I can feel the cushioning around the ankle, so... Hopefully these have great ankle support. Like I said, I have tried these on. They do feel good that I got them in a um, half size or whatever, bigger. Um, definitely feel comfortable. I definitely have to get used to wearing a little bit more Kobe's. Um, the newer, the pro, um, pro Cho Kobe's, have to get used to wearing those. I'm not, I don't really ball in my shoes, my Kobe's too much. So <laughs> I like, I pretty much just use them for collection. All right, so again, we're gonna look at this insole. Like I said, the orange insole, I like that orange, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. That orange insole is clean. Orange, regular Kobe insole. A little flat insole. Not too hard. I was actually planning on getting, like, some hooping insoles instead of just taking mine out so I won't mess them up and replacing them. I've been wearing my jaw insoles for my jaw ones. I've been putting them in other shoes. But I want to get some, like, performance insoles to wear. And put in all my Kobe's, but they're, they're kind of expensive, so we're gonna look into that. And then let's go ahead and look at the tongue. You got black shoe strings, you got the it's like a chrome gray Kobe logo, you got the toe box suede on the toe box, and yeah, there you go. The Kobe Pro Cho 4 Girl Dads, these are really clean. I like that girl dad in the inside. I do have a daughter, so. These would be, these would be good for a good Father's Day gift. Might wear these on Father's Day. Put some black jeans on. You feel me? Just something comfy, something. You feel me? Might wear these on Father's Day. Go get something to eat in them or whatever. But yeah, I'm definitely liking this sneaker. I like the, I like the upbringing on the sneaker. I like how they. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I ain't got no defects in the sneaker. Oh, make you forget to put them. Yeah, but yeah. What do you guys think about this Kobe 4 Pro Cho Girl Dad sneaker? I've been seeing a lot of reviews on these. Um, a lot of people actually like them. So, you feel me? I'm a huge Kobe fan. You feel me? Whatever you drop, I'm liking. You feel me? Um, out of overall, I like the chrome. Not too fan. I I'm not going to say I don't like the colorway. I'm not a huge fan of the green. Uh, but I do like the orange. I definitely like the chrome. like the translucent outsoles. And you got the little fiber right there. I don't know. If, is, is this metal or plastic? Yeah, it must be plastic. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, it's plastic. So. And then the girl dad on the back of the tongue. So overall, I get these a 8. 8, 8 and a half out of 10, which is not bad. But the only thing is, I'm just not a fan of the, the green too much. But I don't have too many green shoes. So these would be nice to wear on the court. That chrome is definitely going to stick out. But what do you guys think about this sneaker? Did you cop it? Um, I know they sold out. I've been seeing a lot of alerts on Twitter like, oh, more in stock. But every time you go on a link, there's none in stock. <laughs> and also, I'm pretty glad that I did hit on a raffle. I tried to go and hit again on sneakers, and I, I failed miserably. So, <sighs> shout, out to, um, shout out to Sneaker Politics for the raffle. And yeah, what do you guys think, man? Kobe 4, Procho Girl Dads.
So, what do you guys think about these Kobe 4 Pro Cho Girl Dads, whatever you want to call them? Again, they only come with one shoe screens. I don't know. I might add orange shoe screens. I don't know. I'm just feeling orange for some reason. Do I got orange? I got orange in my SB, so I might take those shoe screens out. Put them in the Kobe's, you feel me? But I definitely have a spot open. Top of the line, you feel me? So they definitely going up there. Uh, I'm going to try to hoop in them a couple times, see how they feel on the court. Like I said, I don't usually hoop in my Kobe, so hopefully it don't, you feel me? Make me a little timid, you feel me? I don't want to mess them up or nothing like that. But yeah, man, I'm definitely rocking with these Kobe's, man. Hope you guys rocking with me. Hope you guys love the video. And then I'll see you guys next time. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, join the family, show some love and some support. And as always, love yourself, love your family, stay safe, stay humble, peace to all, love to all, deuces.